Hey, it's your boy Anubis, and today we're just going to be talking about how to understand zodiac signs on a deeper level. So, when you want to understand a specific zodiac sign, most definitely learn about that zodiac sign, like the rulership, what house it rules, and stuff of that nature. The key thing about how to learn about the zodiac sign in depth would be about learning about the zodiac signs right next to it. You feel me? So the zodiac sign before and after. And then another thing to keep in mind, I feel like it's the opposite zodiac sign. So I'm going to give you an example. So um, me personally, I'm an Aquarius. Me personally, I'm an Aquarius. And I feel like Capricorn, what Capricorn is the 10th house. It's more realistic, more logical, more down to earth, you know, about its public image and stuff of that nature. And it's this more realistic, you feel me? And then Pisces is a little bit more spiritual. Use use the imagination, you know, dream light, stuff of that nature. And you see Aquarius is like in the middle. So Aquarius can see kind of both. And that's why Aquarius is considered like connecting the bridge, you feel me? Connecting the unknown to known. And um, the opposite would be Leo, you feel me? So when Aquarius, I feel like it's not acting like an Aquarius. It would be acting like a Leo, a little bit more um dramatic, a little bit more self-centered about they self when the cause of seeing get attention, you feel me? So I feel like that goes for all zodiac signs, you feel me? So if you learn about cancer... Cancer is mother like given to people, helping people, you feel me? Um, a little sensitive, it's a water sign, and then what Leo is right next to it, a fire sign, being a little dramatic sometimes, and um, self centered, want the attention, and then other times, Gemini's right behind it, you know, different points of views, a little bit more talkative, you know, communication. You know, and that can work hand in hand because what do you have to do to help people? You have to communicate with them. You have to talk to people. You have to um, know about their emotions. Another thing on the fire side with the Leo, you have to give people attention. You have to um, show people uh, their attention or how they can get attention, different qualities, you know, so. It's a yin and yang, I feel like, to each and every zodiac sign. So it's always nice to learn your opposite zodiac sign. So, like, if you're a Gemini, you know, how you able to communicate and have a lot of different perspectives and talk very nice and be versatile, the jack of all trades, and then your opposite sign and be Sagittarius. You feel me? Being able just to see... The broader perspective, you know, the bigger picture, the higher knowledge, the higher truth, the um, not really manipulating like Gemini. Um, this, I don't know, more, I don't know how to even say it. This more realistic, more can just see the truth for what it is instead of Gemini just being around the bush and just being Gemini, a flirt all over the place. You feel me? So it's crazy. So and that goes vice versa for a Sag. When the Sag is not seeing the higher perspective, it's not being um I can't say religious, but it's like since they can see the higher perspective, they're kinda religious. So like if they was gonna steal, you know, they may have the ideas to steal, but then at the same time with a the Sag, they would just know like it's not good to steal, so why steal? Feel me? A Gemini with this, see all type of perspectives and might do it, might not do it. You never know with a Gemini. The Sag, and most likely to see, hey, that's not the right thing to do. I'm going to just go this route. You feel me? So, like, they able to this see the bigger message, you know. Um, another zodiac sign, for example, we we'll do Aries. Aries is... um. A little passionate, um, aggressive about, you know, their self, their identity, you know, getting to know their self. And that's like what Pisces. Pisces is an illusion. You know, you can almost say an infant, a baby. 
You feel me? And sometimes, you feel me? They're in their own world, their own um, illusion. You feel me? Even if that's spiritual, even if that's indulging all type of things. And then you got Taurus on the opposite side, being grounded, being stable in the um, in this world. You feel me? You know, um, nice security. You feel me? Material wealth is very nice. And then what Aries in the middle. You feel me? So it's like Aries is sometimes a child, and then sometimes Aries can be grown and get down to business. You get what I mean? And then the opposite of Aries is Libra, being a little bit more talkative, harmonious, being a little bit more balanced, versatile. Um, that can even be like a little love life too. You feel me with um, Libra because Libra is Venus. You know, so it's a lot of stuff you should always keep in mind when learning any and every zodiac sign. Most definitely know that they all connected, as you can see. You know, and uh, it goes it goes even deeper because like when you really think about it, um, what Pisces is the twelfth house. All about the subconscious, you feel me? The dream world, the um, the spiritual world, or you know the negative side of be smoking, um, doing drugs, you know all type of stuff like that. You know just wanting to be in some type of illusion to get out of what reality. And then you got Virgo, which is grounded to reality. You feel me? You can see the beauty and everything, even if it's negative. So, you know, it's in reality, working, routine, you feel me? That's what, in this reality. So, you got to know the opposite sign because you can, you know, act like your zodiac sign most of the time or sometimes, but it's always nice to know your opposite zodiac sign and most definitely the zodiac signs right next to it. So, I hope you see the importance of that. I hope this was a good video for you. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned.